I post one question on a photography group about what kind of camera I should buy, and I get like 15 comments about why I need to rethink my life. Hi everyone, welcome to Media Empress. My name is Maya and I am one woman in media. So in my search to find a camera to start this business, I joined a Facebook group for photographers. My plan in becoming a really good videographer is to learn how to take portraits so I can incorporate the artistic concepts of posing and lighting and form and lines and all of that into a live action kind of a format. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I am interested in photography. And this is one aspect of media that I do want to learn. So I joined a Facebook group that my photographer sister recommended and posted my question about what kind of camera I should be looking at, you know, that had about four or five wish list items. And within a half an hour, I had like 40 comments. The first five comments were on point. Sony this, Nikon that, your budget is too small, maybe you want to look at used gear. And then somehow it descended into, wait, you want to start a business and you have no experience? <laughs> Good luck with that. And then it moved into uh, keep your day job. And you can't start a business without knowing anything, which is true. But I mean, I haven't started one yet. I'm just looking for a camera. And then somehow started this whole online debate about whether or not someone as clueless as I am should even try to start a business with all that I lacked. And the hopeful thinkers started getting into it with the realist thinkers. Until finally, after 40 or so comments, the moderator had to step in. Quit debating this woman's life choices. She didn't ask for career advice. She just asked about a camera. Either give her a model number, say something positive, or move on. And then the conversation focused back into camera gear. Now I have to say that oddly, that whole experience did not deter me one bit from my purpose. I know what I want to do. I want to film videos and I want to make money and I'm going to do it. These people have no idea who I am or what I can do and can't do. And it's kind of funny because I didn't even feel mad or outraged about it. It was actually kind of nice in a, you know, good angel, bad angel kind of way. But really for the naysayers, I do see their point. You've got these established artists who have worked for years and years perfecting their craft and building their business. And then suddenly this perky little upstart waltzes in and is like, hi, I'm starting a business taking photos. What kind of camera should I get? What an impudent little punk. And yeah, let's face it, I am. But that's only because I don't know anything yet. I am currently riding this happy little cloud of blissful ignorance for a while. And that is okay, because I know that I am actually prepared to take the experience hits once I get started. But until then, I just choose to be happy and optimistic and excited. And I am really excited. And it turns out you can't always judge someone's intent just by the words in the comments section. The guy who told me to keep my day job responded to my comment that, well, that's not hard since I'm a stay-at-home mom. And I learned he was a retired university professor of photography who had taught in England and in the US and he offered to mentor me if I was interested. How cool is that? So my first foray into seeking film advice from the internet was that even the seemingly obnoxious can be helpful and valuable and maybe even someone that you would like in real life. I still don't have a camera yet, but I am still very sure about my life choices. Okay, not bad this week. Makeup is okay, hair is a little flat, but decent. You do sound a little more chipper this time, so that's good. You lost the watch, good. Three words, V-neck shirt. You want people to know that you have a neck. Um, all right, good job this week. I bring you up to a B minus. Keep going. Comments about why I need to rethink my life.